We return with something special today, a story on our very own reporter and weather anchor, Liberty Zavala. You may not know this, but aside from her busy life here in the news, she is also in the Navy Reserve. Well, she was recently sworn in. Today, she's being profiled on the Navy's website as part of their Faces of the Fleet documentary series that highlights family, responsibility, and duty. Take a look. Here's a preview. The way that my father led by example is the way that I hope to lead as a naval officer as well. That's what my father taught me. I want to let all of you know as Kilo Company commander how proud of each and every one of you I am. That was really well done and certainly a journey worth highlighting. Joining us live with more of this experience of the documentary is Liberty. Great <laughs> to see you as, as usual and, and in this circumstance is really interesting. Tell us like how you found out about Faces of the Fleet and what it's like to be on the other side of the camera in this case. Yeah, the oh, subject. Yes. It, it is a definitely an incredible experience and I learned about Faces of the Fleet because of a, a recruiter who reached out to me and asked me to be a part of this. This is a documentary series that um, really highlights our service members here, our um, re reservists as well as naval officers and sailors and they were really touched and moved by my story and they said, hey, can we share it with the rest of the community and the country and the world? Well, I don't have to tell anyone at this table, but it's a big commitment uh, to be a journalist and the time that goes into that. You're also a weather anchor, a reporter. How do you balance that with this other profession now as a public affairs officer? Oh yeah, it's it's very challenging. It, it is definitely an honor. I'm so grateful to God to have this opportunity to highlight not just the impactful work we do here at Fox 5, but also what uh, our service members are doing in the U.S. Navy Reserve and in the active duty Navy and, and other branches. It's truly an honor to be able to showcase that, uh, the, those both sides, and to show others that you can uh, work at, in your civilian life and bring those experiences and skill sets and then translate them into the Navy and into service and serving your country. And I'm honored that I have the opportunity to bridge both worlds and be a part of that. Yeah, it's really neat to see it in, in this perspective. We knew as your colleagues and friends what was going on and what you're preparing for. A lot of folks probably haven't seen what it's like behind the scenes. So uh, before we uh, talk further, I want to tell you another clip here from your Faces of the Fleet episode in which you were sworn in as a naval officer. To step up when your country needs you. And I can't wait to serve alongside of you. Class 23020, Hoo yeah. I am really proud to say that I am now a naval officer. How about them apples? Yeah, well, like Kathleen mentioned, I mean, it's not a small feat to, to do your day job and then to do this as well. Tell us what motivated you, inspired you to want to go down this path and, and join the Navy. Well, as you know, I've been serving in my civilian role here as a journalist, serving my community, and I have covered our service members for nearly a decade, and I was always uh, moved and touched by their commitment to service. And for me, it is an incredible opportunity to be able to now take uh, the disciplines of journalism and my experience, even studying Homeland Security right now through my education and be able to bridge that and serve the U.S. Navy to now share the Navy's stories. Right now, there are thousands of service members, active duty service members who are wives, husbands, sisters, daughters, mothers, fathers who are away from our home right now. Um, to ensure that we have a safe and secure homeland here and to be able to highlight their stories and their sacrifices is such an honor to be able to do that as a journalist and as a Navy Reserve Public Affairs Officer. Well now officially being one of the faces of the fleet, if someone wants to follow in your path, what are your words of, of advice? Uh, well, I, I am truly feel honored. I truly feel honored to be able to share my story, and if that will, in one way, inspire someone else who's watching to maybe talk to a recruiter or, or raise their right hand and say, "Hey, I want to serve," and maybe explore their 
opportunities in the reserve. Everyone right now watching across our San Diego community or our nation has something to bring to the table in terms of skill sets, experiences, or perspectives that can serve in the U.S. Navy and be an asset to serving our country. I hope they know that they can do it too. Well, I want to ask you because I watched the whole piece and at the end, it graphic comes up and it says, Ensign Liberty Zabala. How did you feel when you saw that? Uh, it is a, a different type of feeling. Like I, I feel um, in my heart, just just chills to be it here gave with me you. Chills. Here with you to, to serve in this role, to be twice a citizen like Winston Churchill calls reservists, to be able to serve in both capacities. It's such an honor. What I learned in officer development school is the tenets of leadership in that you are responsible and accountable for the sailors around you and the people around you in that you have to put their welfare and their well-being before your own and that is the testament to service as well mm -hmm. and that is the strength of the navy as well and to be able to be a part of that is truly a blessing that's amazing to see you on display and, and as you said like it's one thing to talk about it and to cover it it's another thing to be a part of it so we're super proud that you're doing what you're doing and representing us and representing our country and being a part of all and, of this and you have style no doubt but you're a tough cookie too she was telling us some of the things that you've had to do to get to this moment oh, it video. was challenging yeah. uh, we in officer development school we do everything together we eat together we train together mm. we march together we're doing firefighting damage control training training, uh, hours of lecture, and to see us go from uh, a group of people who bring different perspectives and experiences and then work together to achieve a common mission and goal, to see that growth and to see us really work together and understand we are stronger together, that is such a great lesson I'll carry throughout my naval career and my civilian career. All right, we expect you to start whipping us into shape around this I also do want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to uh, the Fox 5 family here and my San Diego community and family here because uh, it is truly a special place to be a part of a family. Mm. Uh, the Fox 5 and Next Star family who support yeah. our military community and our service members. Members. It's one thing to say you do, but to hire and employ service members and veterans. And um, recognize the value that they bring. Exactly, and to appreciate them and support them is rare, and it makes me so proud to be a part of this family. That's great well, to see we're you. proud of you. Yeah, great to see you on this <laughs> point, too. Liberty, thank you so much.